Hello everyone, this is Dave Johnson and welcome to Moonride. We're, we're channeling today. Note I did not say channeling the man in the moon because I've been doing some work with a group called the V Group and I seem to be channeling more specific characters. Uh, one of them is named Arca. So we'll see if he's the one that shows up. Um, I've got the message that the next few months will be uh, pretty forceful in our transition to the new earth. And I'd like to ask how we can accommodate ourselves during that period. So. <clears throat> Hello everyone, uh, all of you Earth Dwellers, we uh, greet you uh, and are happy to present this information to you. In the next few months, great transitional changes will come about. These will be somewhat obvious because there will be a good deal of change on your planet. This will be both social and political as well as environmental. These changes will be very dramatic and they may make you quite uncomfortable. We wish to help you in this transition. So all that is needed is for you to take a moment and reflect on balance. There are images which are helpful, one of which is a pyramid. It is also helpful to reflect on love and kindness. As these events start to stimulate you, go into a state of momentary meditation. Picture things that are, shall we say, loving, as opposed to things that are distressful. Think of friendships and coalitions, helpful members of your society. Think of the good things that people do. Again, it is also useful to picture a pyramid. Place a pyramid in front of you and put love into that pyramid. Anything that looks like goodness will work. Anything that looks like love. Then place the pyramid uh, in over your body, reaching from your head to your toes. This will comfort you in the moment. It will also bring you a good deal of calm. We would suggest to you that the next few months are a sort of a more obvious visualization, if you will, of the changes that are taking place in your society and planet. Merely notice. Notice the changes that are going on. If you notice them and take them for what they are, not as importations of doom, but as symbols of great change which is going on, times when you must make a decision to go into more lightheartedness or go into more heaviness. This is a choice that you must actually make. It is not passive. You can choose to calm yourself down with a certain images. It may be that these particular images of the pyramid do not work for you. If there are others that work, <clears throat> that is fine. Sometimes one can picture the image as a tree, even a Christmas tree, for it is the same pyramid in shape for the most part. It also conveys a connection between earth and spirit. That is, the tree reaches into the ground and it reaches up towards spirit. 
During this time, it is necessary to be somewhat like this tree. You must keep your feet rooted on the ground. At the same time, you ask a spirit to show you the way. The way to be shown is really a method of showing you connections, relationships that are positive and in the light and loving. Decrease the amount of news you take in. This will only cause you more frustration and stress. Remember that the purpose of the news is to sell itself. It will put the darkest, most heavy inflection on any information that is sent to you now. This is not the whole truth. It is just the portion of the truth that is most distressful. It is important for you to look at these images and remember that the meaning of your existence, the ultimate source of everything is good. The symbols, the images that you bring up are merely there to remind you of what the universe is truly like, where you came from and your source. Do your best to be kind to yourself and others when it is appropriate. That is, you need not be a doormat. It is not useful for you. Instead, go towards the light. Go towards more lightheartedness. Have fun. Within laughter is a lot of healing. If you can do this with others, it will greatly help you in your process of changing with the universe. Also notice, notice what is happening. See these events as much as possible from a distance, objectively, as you might call this process. See others, too. Notice what they are doing. You may see motivations. You may become angry at them. Do your best to be dispassionate and to see these people for what they are, merely those who are trying to find a way. They may have fallen off of the path, but it is their path, and one day they will return towards the light. Merely observe this. Do not take it personally. Do not go towards anger and hatred. All of us are on the path. All of us have followed off of the path temporarily in order that we learn to get back on the path. In summary, do justice to yourself. Give yourself time to breathe at this moment of great change. And as you do this, do your best to see others merely as those who are on the path. They will return to the light, just as all of us return to the light. And finally, experience the joy. We on the other side can not taste we cannot feel, we cannot smell, we cannot live within the realms of five senses. It is somewhat advantageous to live in such a realm. You can experience pleasure as well as pain, and we cannot. This is a sort of adventure for you. Of course, it has prickly bits, but the good would not feel so good without the unhappy and dark places that correspond. These must come together. It does not mean that anyone is fated to suffer. You are fated to live on a path of discovery. In a sense, it is beautiful and part of a marvelous adventure that is the human race. Of course, this comes with some baggage. Leave the baggage aside and indulge yourself in pleasurable moments that do not hurt others and do not hurt yourself. Laughter, community, moments in silence, and nature are excellent antidotes to the changes which will be occurring in approximately the next two to three months. We send you our love and blessing, and we invite all of you to connect with yourself in this way.
We will end this transmission. All right, everyone, best of luck as you move forward in this changing time. If you guys care to take a look at my website, there are a few more offerings there. Thanks so much for watching.